Us. 8 News Now uncovered new details in Eric Scott's past that may play a role in the outcome of the coroner's inquest. Scott, of course, was the man shot and killed outside of Costco several weeks ago. Reporter Nathan Baca joins us now to explain uh, the history of these allegations. They are isolated, alleged incidents over a period of 10 years. Now, we want to emphasize that there is nothing necessarily linking these allegations with what happened to Scott during the shooting. Scott's family says they've always suspected Metro would start a whisper campaign to smear their son's name. But his past may become a topic during the coroner's inquest. When Eric Scott was shot and killed July 10th in front of the Summerlin Costco, it set off a community controversy. Was Metro right in shooting the man they say pulled a gun out after acting erratically inside the store? Or is the Scott family correct in asserting Metro is concealing videotape evidence that will prove Eric did not threaten officers? The coroner's inquest is scheduled for September 22nd. Documents and allegations from Scott's past could become a key part of Metro's attempt to show a pattern of violence. Criminal allegations filed in Colorado by his first wife, Violet, accuse Eric Scott of domestic battery, leading to a head injury. The Arapahoe County Sheriff issued a felony warrant for Scott's arrest that was later resolved during their 1999 divorce proceedings. Attempts to reach Violet still living in Las Vegas resulted in a call from Eric Scott's father, Bill. He tells 8 News Now the allegations of abuse are untrue. Family spokesperson tells us their focus now is gathering evidence before the inquest. What happened between her and Eric really has nothing to do with what happened to Eric at Costco. Does she still maintain that that happened? She, had, she said that she doesn't have any comment on that. She has no comment. In 2003, Eric Scott met wife number two, Lydia Gorzak. The personal trainer and dancer accused Scott in these court papers of threatening violence during their 2008 divorce. No criminal charges were ever filed. Attempts to reach Lydia for further comment have failed. In March of this year, Eric Scott's neighbor, Stephen Novotny, claimed his dog got loose, ran to Scott, and bit his leg. Novotny further claimed Scott pointed a gun at him. Scott is accused of saying, you're lucky I don't expletive kill your dog. Eric Scott's father tells 8 News Now his son did point a gun at the dog after being bitten, but never pointed it at a person. Metro says a detective talked to Scott and decided against filing charges. We called Novotny. He refused to comment further, but stood by his account. Bill Scott adds a message for Sheriff Gillespie, quote, they killed the wrong guy this time. Metro tells us this afternoon it's unknown whether the district attorney's office will bring up these past allegations during the inquest. Metro adds they've done a complete investigation, including looking at the mindset and predispositions of the suspect. Now, you can read some of the documents yourself on our website. That's 8newsnow.com.